Hello everyone, my name is Josh and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial of Ustream. The URL is ustream.tv and this is the home page. As you scroll down, there are lots of different uh, videos that you can watch. Some are live, some are previously recorded, uh, but just a great, great tool. But we're not going to focus on the videos that you can watch on here, we're going to focus on uh, you as a teacher broadcasting your class to the parents of your students and anyone else that you would like to watch the stuff that happens in your classroom. So what you'll need to do first is create an account. I'm already logged into mine. It's a very simple process similar to starting any account on any other website. Once you've created your account you will need to create a channel. You can do that by simply clicking go live. Uh, it will, if you haven't created a channel yet it will prompt you to create one. If you have already created one you can choose the channel that you would like to use. I'm going to use practice channel 11. Click next. I haven't picked a category for this one yet so we'll go ahead and call this a blog. And then broadcast. Once you click broadcast the broadcast window will pop up. Zero tolerance policy will pop up every once in a while. But you are looking. There's me. Uh, I'm, it's, it just pulled from the webcam on my computer. Uh, if you have a webcam set up, you can choose that, uh, choose which source you're going to have right here, as well as the audio source. To start broadcasting, all you have to do is simply click the Start Broadcast button, and then if you wanted to record, you select the Start Record button. I'll go ahead and click both of them. Okay. Once you start recording, uh, it doesn't have you fill in any information but once you stop recording it prompts you to fill in any information about the video that you just recorded. Let's go ahead and stop it now and see what it looks like. It'll ask you if you want to pause, delete, save. We'll go ahead and save that one. Uh, you are required to fill in all of these three categories so we'll just call this practice and then I'll copy and paste it to all of the different sections. Uh, when you are recording stuff that happens in your classroom you can choose uh, for it to be private or public. If it's public then when users go to your Ustream channel those public videos are just going to automatically start playing so people can watch them. Uh, unless my students are broadcasting or unless I'm broadcasting my students doing some sort of project I like to keep everything private. Uh, just That's just my preference. You can choose to do something different but click that button and then click save and you can go back to info and you can see everything that you've done there are lots of different options down here you can check advanced settings uh, basically change the resolution the picture smoothing and if you're using a sound mixer you want to get all high tech you can check that you can pull your audience with this option here if you have uh, you know more than one or two parents watching you can put in a question with options and then start poll. Uh, anyone viewing your video will see the poll, though they will be able to respond and then you can see the responses. Audience tools down here, text and video, if you wanted to add any sort of text to the, your video you could do that. Uh, and then there's a help option as well. This is one of my favorite things to, to use up here. Um, when you, what I like to do is I like to tweet at the beginning of each class. So uh, my A2 web design class, right before it starts, I'll tweet out A2 web design happening now. I'll just say not really. Ooh, spell happening right. Not really. And then uh, choose from any one of the different social medias and then click update. I have it linked to my Twitter. Simple as just clicking on one of them and then setting it up. Alright, I'm going to stop the broadcast and then go into some of the different technical aspects and uh, how to change things in your account. I'm going to stop broadcast, close, and I'm going to go up to my username. A drop down menu appears. When I click on go to dashboard, we can look at my dashboard overview. And what I'm interested in are the different channels. Right now, the one I have selected is the one for my class, not the one I just broadcasted to, but Mr. Dumas Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and click Info on that. From here, you can see 
uh, the different info for your channel. Here's a little bit about it. You can choose a picture. Uh, mine's that one right there. That was after a bad day, I guess. This is this is neat. Uh, you can schedule an event. So let's say your students are going to be presenting a project. You can send an event out to parents or other community members to let them know about that event so that they can be sure to tune in and watch their child or that those students um, you know presenting that project to set up a password this is important uh, if you're broadcasting your students you want to make sure that it's secure and only the parents or people that you choose uh, can view them you do that by going to the advanced menu here and you can change the password for your channel uh, right there if you wanted to embed this uh, this video in uh, your web page here's that HTML code right there uh, pretty neat you can look at how many people are viewing your channel on a daily basis right there um, and that is pretty much it for the channel section this is a, a free account so I mean use it as much as you want I have been recording the videos for about two months now and I haven't hit my limit so I'll let you know if I get there but yeah pretty sweet um, oh you can go to uh, some of the videos that you recorded right here these can be useful if you uh, want to send the video to a parent like this particular video uh, where is it right here click on that uh, a student decided to act inappropriately in this class and I wanted to uh, show a parent what you call that date night. Sec, it's let me just awful. It's just mute this um, and I wanted to show a parent what their child was doing instead of just telling them I can send them this link and not only can I send them the whole link of the video but I could highlight a section in the video uh, so they know exactly where that that moment is so I'm gonna click highlight and I have these two uh, these two things right here but I can scroll over time the start time and the end time and then create a highlight preview and then save let's, let's just call this something save and it creates a, a special URL that you can send to a parent now uh, when you send that link to the parent if you have checked this video as private you will need to uncheck it because um, only you can watch those private videos regardless of however many highlights you create so in order for a parent to watch even a highlighted section of that video the video has to be public okay um, let's go back alright um, from here you can look at the different the different highlights that you've created um, your off-air content, meaning this is what is going to play while you are not broadcasting. So you can play your videos or have some pictures up from the classroom. Uh, you can do it that way. And that is about it. Thank you for watching. Good luck setting up your Ustream channel and broadcasting your class to your parents. See ya.